Hey everyone, this is KJ Saka. I'm going to talk about drum recording today inside Ableton. I specifically have a Roland V drum set and it's going out MIDI and it's really easy to record inside Ableton. I'm just going to record this beat here. All right, let me show you here. I'm going to share my screen empty Ableton session and I've dragged in the TD Jungle Kit from my brand new pack link in the description here is what the TD 50 sounds like not Ableton and now I'm gonna turn the volume all the way down and I'm gonna record and enable All right, so now I'm playing these kits. This is a, a crazy, fun, weird kit. It's very thin right now, and you can adjust that. Turn down the reverb. There we go. All right, so now let's record that. I have it at 174. Let's start this. Here we go. Quantize it. Let's quantize it like 90%, 88. Let's fix these loop markers. Change that to four bars right here. Here we go. Perfect loop. If you're a drummer or if you're not a drummer, and if you have some sort of e-drum setup like this, you just go USB out or MIDI out straight into Ableton, and you might have to adjust a couple MIDI note parameters, but this jungle kit inside my brand new pack, link in the description, is all set up for general MIDI. See that? I'm triggering the kick drum, snare drum, toms, side snare, hi-hat latency is quite low here a lot of people ask me about latency and I'm just running buffer size 64 samples right here on the buffer size that's about it that's all I'm doing and let's try it again okay I would adjust a few of those sounds you know after the fact and that's what post production is for so let's move this bar up let's pl let's start this let's turn off the click okay so there's some mess ups right there no problem so you just go select all let's quantize and since it's in MIDI let's make it perfect right or not. If I'm playing a big rock beat or something that requires me to do a, a drum performance, then I'm not going to quantize it. But this, I'm going to record this and I'm going to put it straight into a drum and bass track. I'm going to make this a drum and bass beat for a drum and bass track. I'm going to want every single thing to be perfectly quantized. Let's go 90% at 16th notes. fix this one right here where's that there we go nice we'll change this one out we'll move this one to right there <laughs> there you have it. I'm going to stop sharing my screen here now. So I teach this all the time. This is kind of the lesson format that I do. And I hope you learned something here. And uh, again, link in the description. All right. Peace.